Did you ever wish you could review a flight, particularly an instructional flight, right from the comfort of your desktop? I'm Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb, and today we're going to look at three different cockpit recording systems that let you do exactly that. For simple capture in the cockpit, you can't go wrong with the end flight cam. This is a Contour HD camera with a circuit added to capture cockpit audio. The camera is a 110 degree wide angle. It mounts most anywhere and has the clever feature of shooting two lasers out the front so you can see where it's pointed and that it's level, important when there's no screen to preview the video. The single cord plugs into the intercom and your headset plugs into that cord. From there, it captures all the audio of the flight. So day 27, runway 29, clear to land, departure on the crossing runway prior to your arrival. Recording time depends on how high res you want the images. We fit about 30 minutes of video on a 2 gigabyte micro SD card shooting at 1280 by 720 high def. The camera battery will run for a couple hours, so you can get a bigger card if you want. The camera is wide enough angle to get both the forward view and the cockpit. However, dealing with the different brightnesses of the two scenes meant sometimes the outside was washed out or the inside was too dark to see. But the cabin audio was plenty clear to pick up all the inflections of a smart-mouthed flight instructor. He's going to overshoot. <laughs> All part of the plan. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't, didn't lead it enough. Didn't no, lead it enough. I thought I led it too much. No, didn't lead it enough no, with the wind. We got a little tailwind there, don't we? The camera is available online through outlets like Sporties, who lent us this one, that they use in their flight training program. Comes in handy when somebody makes a particularly good crosswind landing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll work. The camera is $399 or $499 with a new GPS chip built in. More information is available at nflightcam.com. A far more comprehensive recorder is available from FlyV. This system uses a netbook computer and two cameras, one in the cabin to record the panel and the pilots, and a second on the glare shield for an unobstructed forward view and no conflict on the image exposure settings. The cameras, an external GPS and cabin audio, all feed into the netbook. It's well marked, but it's rather a rat's nest of cables. You wouldn't want to take the flyby in and out of the cockpit every flight. There's a preview mode on the netbook that lets you aim the cameras. Once you've got that set, you can close the netbook and find a place for it. It starts recording automatically when the aircraft starts moving. Flights are recorded onto an SD card and played back onto a desktop computer in a web browser. Windows only, however. The Flyv viewer has four main windows, two on the top showing the cockpit and forward view, and two on the bottom showing a top-down and aircraft chase view from Google Earth. There's a timeline so you can zip to any point in the flight and play back the cameras, Google Earth, and cabin audio. Here's that same crosswind landing again. Oh yeah, yeah, that work. For instructional purposes, Flyv lets you tag parts of the flight to find them quickly during a later review. Here's a power off stall with a bit too aggressive a recovery. And you recover straight ahead to a clean configuration. Jump to 602, turn left heading 090. Left heading 090, jump to 602. The video can be paused. A tag can be chosen by color. Red for, well, might need some work. And then the tag can be named to be found and analyzed later without all the noise and fury of the cockpit. The tags appear in the Google Earth view as well, along with their color code, so you can see the good points of the flight too. You don't even need to pause the video as you mark it up, which makes it a bit faster to review. There you go. As they come out, the plane will speed up. Flyvee also has an app for the iPhone that uses the internal camera to record flights, as well as cabin audio. During the flight, you can quickly mark the same kinds of tags. The flights can be played back on the iPhone or on a special viewer. Flyvee isn't cheap. The equipment is just shy of $2,000 and you need to pay $290 a year for access to the browser-based viewer. The iPhone app is free, but if you want to watch it on anything other than the phone, it's $98 a year. The windshield mount that you saw and the cable to record cockpit audio for the iPhone is $60. You can find out more at www.flyvee.com. Flight has no camera. It uses a reworked Linux cell phone to record GPS position and cabin audio. Once it's installed in the aircraft, the functions are totally automatic. It starts recording when the master goes on and stops when the master goes off. It uses built-in Wi-Fi to automatically upload the recorded flight to Wi-Flight servers, 
where you can later log in and view it. The entire flight is recorded with playback using Google Earth. It has a few neat tricks, including calculating engine RPM based on ambient cabin audio and showing the nearest METAR so you can actually see what the crosswind likely was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y-Flight was specifically developed to alert flight schools or aircraft owners to elicit flight activities. The server will email an alert if the aircraft lands or does a low pass where it shouldn't. The owner can then log in and see exactly where the aircraft was and what people were saying at the time. The Y-Flight recorder is $4.99 plus $59 a month for a web subscription for one aircraft, but the per aircraft rates drop pretty steeply when you subscribe for an entire fleet. Upcoming versions of the Y-Flight recorder will include a small accelerometer to record G-forces in the airplane as well, and we've seen a couple other companies making cockpit cameras based on that same Contour HD high-definition camera. So things are changing. Stay tuned with AvWeb or Aviation Consumer Magazine, and we'll keep you posted on the latest. I'm Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.